Lucy Maud Montgomery was the author of 20 novels, including Anne of Green Gables, Rilla of Ingleside, Emily's Quest, and The Blue Castle. And we are so fortunate to have this repository at the University of Guelph. Well, this collection is really a very important resource for research and study of Lucy Maud Montgomery. It includes materials that document both her work and her life. For example, we have first editions and other important editions of all the novels she wrote. We have her photography collection. She was an avid photographer. We have her journals, scrapbooks, her working papers, foreign editions of the work she wrote, in addition to her library. So the books that she was reading that might have inspired her in her writing. This letter, dated April 8th, 1907, is from Elsie Page and Company, a Boston, Massachusetts publisher, and it is informing Lucy Maud Montgomery that they have decided to publish her first novel, Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables is so popular that it has never been out of print and it's been published in almost every country around the world. My favorite edition of the book is this one, which is in a Japanese edition published in the 1940s. Well, this is a very rare item. Lucy Maud Montgomery kept a diary from the time she was nine years old, but decided to burn all of her diaries that were written in her preteen years. She started again writing a diary in 1889 when she would have been about 14 years old and continued to write those diaries until her death. So we have all of those diaries from 1889 to 1942. They are kept in ledgers that are fairly large, they're legal sized ledgers and somebody actually counted the number of words in them. There are over a million words in these diaries. So this is a really, really good place to get some insights into Montgomery's thoughts. I wanted to show you the very first entry because I think it's really interesting. It's September 21st, 1889. She's living in Prince Edward Island, and it's a fairly long entry. I'm not going to read it to you, but one of the things that really struck me is that like people of today, she named her plants, and she was very, very fond of cats. This is the first edition of Emily's Quest, the last in the Emily Trio. The story chronicles the life of a young girl named Emily, who is trying to be a writer and also delves into her romantic life. What makes this book special is the inscription from Montgomery to her son Chester. It reads, to Chester E. MacDonald with a mother's love. And it also includes her trademark black silhouette of a cat. Well, I think the collection is for absolutely everyone. And if you're interested in learning more about the collection, you can find a lot of information on our website. We have a detailed description of this collection there. Um, you can also find out about it through talking to people in special collections. We're always happy to respond to requests via email and phone, or you can just come into the reading room and ask a question. 